Hey guys, I am Ryan and this time we'll talk about the quasi-experimental design. Quasi-experimental design is an evidence-based interventional study that uses non-random assignment to estimate the causal impact of an intervention on a target population. This kind of research design aims to determine causal relationships among variables. And this research design bears resemblance to true experimental research but differs. Take note that there is no random selection of participants in quasi-experimental research design. This research design also involves pre-test and post-test. On this kind of research design, the control group is optional, dependent on the design. Now, the main objective of quasi-experimental design is to evaluate the effectiveness of a treatment or an intervention. Now, let's proceed to the different types of quasi-experimental design. The first one is the non-equivalent comparison groups design, which involves two testing groups. It is considered as non-equivalent since members of groups involved are not randomly assigned. There may be factors that might influence the result of the study. And these factors are considered internal threats to the validity of the results of the research. In this design, both groups will be given the same treatment and will undergo post-test. Now let's consider this study which aims to assess the effectiveness of new method of teaching music theory to Bachelor of Cultural and Arts education students. Now as I mentioned earlier, there will be two groups in this design. Now, both groups will undergo the new method of teaching music theory, which will be considered as treatment in this particular example. After the treatment is implemented, both groups will have a post-test, wherein the results will be identified. Now, since the participants are not randomly assigned, there may be factors that might influence the result of the study, such as the student's IQ level, student's behavior, teaching strategy, and student's environment. Now, let's proceed to the next type of quasi-experimental design, which is the pre-test and post-test design. Now, this design tests the dependent variable before the intervention is given and after the intervention has been given. Now, let's consider this example, which aims to aid the students with low cognitive level in music theory with an intervention program. Now, a group of participants will undergo a pre-test to identify the students with low cognitive level in music theory. Now, once the participants have been identified, they will undergo any treatment or an intervention program. Now, as they finish, they will now undergo any post-test wherein the results will be identified if they pass or fail. From here, the researchers can now come up with conclusions. Now, let's proceed to interrupted time series design which is a variant of pre-test post-test design. This involves a series of testing at given intervals before and after an intervention has been given. This design conducts multiple tests before and after the intervention, which allows the researcher to observe the consistency of the test. It also verifies if the treatment has been truly effective based on the changes in the testing made. Now here's a study which aims to determine the effect of shortened class hours on productivity of students. In this case, the researcher will have multiple observations before the treatment is given, which is the shortened class hours. After that, another multiple observations will be given after the treatment has been given. From here, we can conclude that the treatment has a positive effect on the productivity of the students. Lastly, here's the combination design which combines the elements of both non-equivalent designs and pre-test and post-test designs. This design involves a test group and control group. Both groups are given a pretest, but the treatment is only given to one group, but both will have post-tests. The objective is to determine the extent of the improvement between the test group and control group. And the main question to determine is whether the changes is caused by the treatment or other factors. Now here's another study which is the effects of new method in teaching music theory towards students' attitude on the subject. Now here, group A is the test group and group B will be the control group. Now, both groups will have a pretest to determine their initial attitude on music theory. However, 
only the group A or the test group will have the intervention or the treatment. After the intervention has been given, both groups will have their post-tests to determine if there's an improvement or changes on their attitude on music theory. Now that is quasi-experimental design. Thank you!